Hey, welcome back to Recently Played Podcast, No Longer a Podcast. My name's Sean, and today I'll be giving you my honest thoughts and opinions on Suddenly, the latest album from Caribou. Let's get into it. Now, I guess I could say that I'm a relatively long-time Caribou fan. Like many others, my introduction to Caribou was his bold and ambitious 2010 album, Swim. That was a release that just sounded like nothing I'd ever heard before. It was a little more rock sounding in comparison to a lot of electronic music I was listening to, and in comparison to a lot of electronic influenced rock, it was quite techno sounding. Even 10 years later, it's a difficult album for me to pin down. Sometimes I enjoy it front to back, and other times it can be tiring for me to get through. Back in 2010, when I realized that Caribou was the sole project of producer Dan Snaith, who had in fact been releasing music under different names for many years, I felt motivated to go back through his discography and discover where this eclectic album came from. And it was during that process that I really became a fan of his work. He's an artist that is just so full of music, and as a fan of many different contrasting styles of music, I find it hard not to be inspired by him. And all of this contributed a great deal towards softening the blow for his 2015 album, Our Love. I remember my first playthrough of that album and just being happy that Dan had achieved such an enjoyable and solid album that was also very true to who he is as an artist. When there's an artist that you really admire, it's always a great feeling to see them succeed. It's kind of like when your team makes it to the playoffs. As a fan, you feel like somehow you're a part of it. And now, five long years later, we have Caribou's latest album, Suddenly. Now to start, I think that this release is a great follow-up and continuation of Our Love. We hear a lot of familiar sounds and textures, and Dan even touches on a lot of the same subject matter thematically that worked so well on Our Love. Not that an album's artwork is a deal breaker for me or anything, but I think that Suddenly's cover is a great representation of this album. As I listened to it more and more, I really got a sense of that calming tranquility that we would associate with the still blue water on the album's cover. Suddenly is quite a minimal sounding album and I think that it's at its strongest when it builds to these really nice, subtle moments that slowly work their way into your subconscious. I always like it when I'm caught off guard by something sounding smaller than I thought it was going to be. That happens quite regularly throughout this album's runtime. The first example of which being right at the very beginning. 2010's Swim punches you in the face with the infectious banger Odessa, and 2015's Our Love gradually builds up to the groovy hook and can't do without you. But Sister, the opening track of Suddenly, does neither of those things. It starts low and doesn't really pick up too much throughout the track. I can't say that this bothered me though. It felt like a nice reintroduction to Caribou's sound and I thought that it managed to hold on to the tension until the end of the track. As any good intro track would do, it sets the stage nicely for You and I. I thought that You and I was a decently strong single and a great sounding track overall. The verses have a nice driving quality to them that I really like, and the overall mix is quite good. The drums match the pulsing lead synth very nicely, and I like the way that light, wind chimey sounding synth gently floats above everything. It's very tastefully retro, kind of like something that could be on Daft Punk's Random Access Memories. I thought the choruses on You and I weren't quite as strong as they could be, but this is quite easily redeemed by the song's conclusion, where everything comes together and we hear these great overlapping melodies. This screeching guitar piercing through is a nice touch as well, and it really contributes to the dramatic, sentimental vibe of the track. And then we get into what just might be my favorite part of the album. The tracks Sunny's Time and New Jade showcase the subtle genius of Dan Snaith's production better than any other part of the record. There's so many little contrasting elements working together in harmony to create a really cool experience. And what's cooler is that all of these little sounds are representative of a career's worth of musical exploration and creative growth. We hear hip hop samples, 80s drum fills, new age synths, Caribou's signature horns, it feels like we're hearing all of these different shades of Dan at once and his sharp songwriting is what holds it all together. These two tracks really felt like they were full of surprises on a sonic level. I found that venturing through these different textural territories got me excited about putting on the album in full. 
It's these kind of dynamics that really turn an album into a listening experience. And I can say that the first half of Suddenly does that very well. Now if you checked out my top 20 songs of 2019 episode, you might remember that I named Caribou's single Home as my number 16 track of that year. It's such a feel good, bright and vibrant jam and I think it was an excellent choice to be the first we hear of Dan in 5 years. However, I was curious as to how it would fare with the rest of the album as Home is quite different stylistically from a lot of Caribou's music, but I think he did a really great job of shaping the rest of the album around it to make it work. Now it seems like the fan favorite of Suddenly is the ultra catchy dance track Never Come Back, and it's not hard to see why. This is quintessential Caribou. It's a great example of his unique and highly stylized take on EDM. It's worth mentioning that Dan Snaith also releases more dance focused music under his Daphne moniker, and what I think makes a song like Never Come Back Caribou and not Daphne is how he weaves in melodies and songwriting into the track that you wouldn't necessarily find in a lot of electronic music. And that's what gently pushes the track over the line from being something that we'd find in a dance mix to being a fully fleshed out song. There's an underlying tension that builds up over the arc of the first half of Suddenly and Never Come Back does a great job of releasing that tension with a bigger moment that feels like a bit of a conclusion to the first half. And up until this point, I can say that I have very few complaints about the album. The first half is full of surprises, left turns, and different textures which keeps me interested and invested. But then when we get into the second half, my interest starts to wane a little bit. And now that I think of it, I actually had this exact same problem with both Swim and Our Love. They're great albums, but when listening to them in full, they can get a little fatiguing and it might feel a little challenging to get to the end. In that regard, I actually feel like Suddenly is the least problematic, but its second half still leaves something to be desired. And I want to be clear that I really quite enjoy each of these songs individually. They're all not without their own beautiful, captivating moments, and separated from the album, each of them has their own arc. Like I Loved You has this cool guitar solo halfway through and the last 30 seconds or so of the track is right up there with all of my favorite moments of the album. The same goes for Magpie, I think it does a wonderful job of just blossoming as the track goes on and the payoff we get from the keyboard solo at the end of the track is so nice. The second half of Suddenly becomes a little problematic when we put all of these songs together in sequence. We get two low energy songs followed by a dance track and then another low energy song. And I want to reiterate again that I like all of these songs individually. Ravi is a really nice soulful sounding dance track, but the way it's placed on the album feels kind of predictable. I get the impression that it's supposed to be this big moment to cap off the album before Cloud Song gently carries us out, but it just doesn't feel as huge as it should. It sounds like it was intentionally placed there to pick up the pace from the previous two tracks and as a result the second half of the album just doesn't feel as exciting or full of surprising as the first half was. With that being said, I think that there's a great sense of conclusion in the last two tracks. It has this nice, career spanning, reflective vibe to it. Dan Snaith has had so many different kinds of experiences, being such a big part of different communities, and he sounds so thankful for all of it. It's kind of like when that beloved action hero takes a moment to look back on all of their adventures. On Cloud Song, a track which sounds vaguely reminiscent of the underwater theme from Super Mario 64, Dan sounds like he's fondly looking back on his career and looking forward to everything that lies ahead. Additionally, he acknowledges that it won't last forever and there's a very subtle but noticeable frustration in that. No matter what, there will always be songs, words, and ideas that will go unwritten and unrecorded. There will never be enough time to do everything that you want to do, so we are left with no choice but to make the most of the present moment. As Dan sings, if you love me, come hold me now, suddenly emits a last moment of that tranquil mindfulness that really encapsulates this album as a whole. I think that Suddenly is a solid release and an excellent addition to Caribou's catalog. It's such a pleasing, enjoyable album to listen to, I think it could really appeal to a wide range of people, perhaps more so than any of his previous work. I give Suddenly by Caribou an 8 out of 10, 
And on top of that, I'd like to add that it was my personal favorite album of March 2020. Alright guys, those are my thoughts, feelings, and opinions on Suddenly by Caribou. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe or, you know, leave a comment if you're feeling adventurous. Just go for it. See you next time. I think that Suddenly is a solid release and an excellent addition to Caribou's...